The professional edition of Bcoder comes with a set of four macros that you can install into Microsoft Word that make it easy to automate the production of barcodes in all types of documents, including standard documents, labels, and mail merge documents. This video is designed to show you how to install the macros. Videos following this one will show you how to use them. By default, Microsoft Word is configured with its ability to run macros disabled. In order to install the Bcoder Word macros, you will first have to change the security settings in Word so that it will allow the macros to be installed. To do this, run Word and click on the Office button, and then click on the button labeled Word Options. In the Options window, click on the Trust Center tab and click the button labeled Trust Center Settings. In the Macro Settings section, select the option labeled Enable All Macros. Next, make sure the checkbox marked Trust Access to the VBA Project Object Model is checked and click the OK button to return to the main Word Options window. Click the OK button again to close the Word Options menu and then close Microsoft Word. The next step is to download the latest Bcoder Word Macro Installer document from the TAL Technologies website. To do this, open your web browser and navigate to www.taltech.com. Once the page loads, hover your cursor over the Support button and click on the Bcoder option. On the Bcoder support page, scroll down and click the link that reads, Download the latest Bcoder Word Macros for Word 2007. In the window that appears, select the Save option and save the file onto your desktop. Once the download is complete, close the confirmation window and close your web browser. The file you downloaded should be on your desktop. It is a zip compressed folder and can be opened just like any regular folder. Double click on the folder icon on your desktop and you will see a Word document named Bcoder Word Macros 2007 Dot .docm. Double click on the file and Microsoft Word will launch automatically and open the macro installer document. In the document window, click on the button labeled Install Macros. If the macros install without any problems, you will see a message box confirming that the macros have been installed successfully. Click the OK button to dismiss the message box. If you look in the main menu in Word, you should now see an Add-ins tab. And if you click on this tab, you will see buttons for the four newly installed Bcoder Word macros. The Text to Barcode macro converts any text that you highlight in a document into a high resolution image of a barcode using whatever settings are currently selected in Bcoder. The Prompt for Barcode macro will pop open a window where you can enter a barcode message and when you click the OK button, a barcode encoding that message is inserted into the current document wherever the cursor is. The Make Barcode Labels macro is designed as a wizard that will walk you through the process of creating either incrementally numbered barcode labels or labels that all contain the same barcodes. The macro named Merge Barcodes was designed to work in conjunction with mail merge documents so that you can generate barcodes on documents or labels that contain data from either a spreadsheet or a database. At this point, the Bcoder Word macros are installed and available for use in any Word document. Therefore, you can close Word and delete the Bcoder Word macro installer document. 